Hi, this is Dr. Weideman, and I'm going to go over um, a little introduction to our course online. And you have this handout in the um, introductory materials folder. Welcome to Stats uh, Online. And we're going to go through the D2L course, and then I'll take you to my math lab so you can see some things over there. So let's start with the D2 or the new course in D2L. So um, when I go in on the home page, um, let's go ahead and click on content and lessons. Right, and if I'm on the table of contents, you'll see here in this window here, and if you use this collapse all, you'll have just um, a few things shown here. Let's go ahead and collapse so we're only seeing the top level of things. There we go. So you have, for instance, um, the syllabus, the e-courses tutorials, um, the same things you're seeing over here. This is like the top level um, of the index, I guess you would say, for the course. So the syllabus is here, the My Courses tutorials. If you haven't used D2L, you might want to work through those. Um, I'm going to talk about this in a minute, email your instructor. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the um, introductory materials folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and your re required syllabus quiz is in here. Um, and you want to make sure you get that done because you won't have access to the discussions or the unit quizzes until you get that finish that quiz with 100%. All right, so in here you also have the syllabus. Um, notice here too, this little um, bar here tells you how many of the items in the folder you've actually completed, whether you've looked at them or if it's an assessment, if you've completed the assessment. Um, here's a link to my instructor page. Um, here's the online, uh, the handout we're going over right now, and you're watching the video. Um, a little idea of where to begin, you might want to take a look at that. Um, five myths about distance learning. Please take a look at that and read that. Give you some idea of things that are true and not true about taking an online course. Here's your textbook information, uh, proctor testing. Here's your My Stat Lab information on how to register. Um, proctor testing, and then there's that syllabus quiz that's required. So you want to take a look at all the different things in this folder, and again, you want to make sure you get that syllabus quiz done soon, early on, because you won't be able to get to the um, unit quizzes and the discussions until you complete that quiz with 100%. Okay, so let's go back up, and let's take a look at some of the other things I've got out here. Weekly chat sessions. Um, every week our class will have a chat session, and I use this WizIQ website. It's an online whiteboard. Um, you'll use the link right here to access the chat. Um, I record the chat so you can see them afterwards if you miss them, and you use the same link to view the recording. So I hope that you'll come. Our first chat is going to be, our chats are going to be on Wednesdays at 1.30 to 2.30, um, and I hope to see you this Wednesday, August 20th, if you can make it, and we'll go over, and I always list the chapters. We're going to go over the first week's material, Chapter 1 and Chapter 10. All right. And then let's go down. Um, here's an analysis of quiz answers. And in there, after um, your quizzes are due, I'll post um, an analysis of some of the answers, the questions maybe that students seem to have the most difficulty with. So you might want to take a look at those after the due dates for the quizzes. OK, so let's take a look at, um, let's just take it one of the unit folders. They're all set up in the same format. So here's unit one, which includes chapters 10, I'm sorry, 1, 10, and 11. Um, there's always a little humor at the beginning. Um, and again, they'll be set up in the same order. Chapter one, and then within each chapter folder, first you'll see the objectives that we're going to use, we're going to go over. And then there'll be chapter handouts and practice. There's always one handout per chapter at least. There's also a PowerPoint handout, um, some additional materials. Um, depending on the um, topic, um, chapter one has to do with data. So I've got a few different websites here where data is collected or you could collect your own data. Um, and then let's go back out to the unit level. Let me go back out to the unit one folder because I want to show you um, the discussions. All right, and in this unit, there are actually two discussions. Now, I'm in here as a student, and it looks like I haven't done my syllabus quiz with 100%, so I can't see those. So you need to get that syllabus quiz done, or you're going to see a blank, just like I've got here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go out of my student mode so that you can see the discussions. I want you to just see what they're all about. The first two that you've got is are, um, here they are. You've got a class introduction, OK, and you've also got um, a student information survey. In the class introduction, you're just going to introduce yourself to the class. Um, you tell us your name and your degree program, something about yourself, and if you want to ask me a question, um, here's your chance. And note, you have to make a posting on all the discussions before you'll see the other posting. So until you make your initial posting, you're going to see a blank discussion board. Okay, let's go back out. The second discussion for Unit 1 is a little student information survey, and it only has a few questions. 
um, and it's done in a survey tool that we use at the college. Sometimes it takes a little minute to So there's only seven questions here. And it's just really so you can give me some information about yourself. I want to make sure you understand there's proctored testing in the course. And then if you want to share any concerns with me, only you and I see that survey. So that's not available to anybody else. And that'll be one of your discussion grades. Um, OK, let's see what else I have on the handout. We did the discussions. OK, the assessments. Let's go back out to Unit 1. and. Actually, I'm going to scroll down here and get to the assessments so you can see what the assessments are. Okay, the assessments are going to be, um, you're going to have two assessments um, to do in each unit. And the first one's going to be a quiz, which is going to be based on the chapters that were covered in there. And again, you're not going to see these until you get 100% on the syllabus quiz. Um, and then you're also going to do an investigative task, which I'll talk about as we get a little further. Your first one's not due till September 8th, but um, this will be something where you're going to work on a problem um, or a particular situation and you're going to actually write an answer to me and drop it into that Dropbox. And I will go over that more um, as we get into the course. Okay, let's go back out to the main, go back out to the Lessons tab again. And again, the, e, the um, e, My Courses tutorial, I want to make sure you go through those. That's really important if you haven't used D2L before. There's also an option here to email the instructor. And I think that you'll find this an easier way to send me an email than going through the Communication tab. So if you click on it, I think you have to do two clicks. One click, and then there's another click and then you're ready to go and you can go ahead and give me a subject in here and type in the body whatever you want to ask me about. I think you might find that easier to use than go into the communication tab. Okay, let's go back up to the main toolbar here and look at the calendar. The calendar is always going to have the due dates on it of the assignments coming up um, and so you might want to check if, if you're not sure what's coming up. The due dates will always be listed there. Uh, let's see, if you go back to content up here you'll also see you can get to um, the discussions here, you can get to the quizzes here, the drop boxes. So you have options here to get to things without going through the unit folders or modules. But I do suggest that you focus on the lessons and the materials there that are available to help support you as you go through you know, the course. Um, and then the communication tab, you've got options here for, again, the email to get to news, to, to get to the discussions. Um, and I want to go in here back as a student again because I want you to see this. In order to see your grades, you're going to go to the Reports tab and click on Grades. Okay, and then you'll see here if any items have been graded, they'll show up in here. It looks like um, I was a student. See, I didn't pass my syllabus quiz, so I see here that's why those things weren't unlocked. You need 100% on that syllabus quiz. But you'll have a snapshot of your grades here. Um, so that's really helpful if you want to check on your progress in the course. Um, and we don't use the attendance, um, and you can also look at the prog user progress if you want. There's no progress for this user yet. Um, okay, let's see what else I'm just going to show you. We did that. Okay, let me get back to the handout, and we're now down a number of pages now. So we went through all this here, and I just wanted to talk to you about. Let's go moving over to my math lab, but it's important that you get the um, access code purchased early. Um, there isn't a, a way to set up a temporary account that will be good for two weeks, um, but you want to make sure that you um, uh, get that access kit as soon as possible. And there's the user ID for, to register for our class. Okay, so let's go to the My Stat Lab website and take a look at what's out there. So let's see, here we go. So here's your My Stat Lab course. When you first go in, you'll see if there's any things coming up. Um, there's a little overall progress here, your score and so forth. Um, but let's take a look at um, the chapter contents. And so when I go to chapter contents, I can then drill down into a chapter. Let's say I'm going to open up chapter one. And if I wanted to go to the ebook, I click on that multimedia ebook. And this will pull up the actual ebook, same as the printed book. Um, and right now mine's not working, so let me get that fixed. Um, but you can pull up the ebook and take a look at things. Um, and let's go over and look at the homeworks, and I'm hoping these are going to work for us. Okay. All right, I have to update my flash. But, um, but here's the homework, and I just wanted to show you over here, you need to score 100% to unlock um, the homeworks in here. So you want to make sure that you do that. 
Um, and then also, and hopefully I can get this to pull up even though I don't have my right flash here, in the handout I showed you, actually let me just use the handout because I think my flash player needs to be updated. Um, when you're in the homework, uh, this is a problem from chapter 3, on the far right side there's a lot of learning aids so if you're having trouble with the problem there's a help me solve it there's view an example and animation depending on the problem you'll have several of these available to you um, if you do a help me solve it when you come back to the problem the problem itself the numbers in it will probably have changed um, so that then you can work the problem from start to finish um, okay I do want to show you something so hopefully I can get my flash to work here uh, this was in chapter 6 and hopefully it will work. Let's see, I don't remember what problem it is. Problem 20, okay. I'm hoping this will come up without my flash there. All right, it's gonna have to install the flash. Okay, I'll come back here in a minute and hopefully we can go back to that, but I can show you in the handout. Um, when you get a problem where there's data, you'll see a little icon like this and it says click to view the data. And then when you get the window here, there's another icon you can click over here, and it'll actually let you open the data in StatCrunch, which is a really nice feature. Um, and then you'll be in StatCrunch, which we'll learn about during the semester, and you'll be able to work on the problem right in the software package. Um, okay, so let me just glance back and see if my uh, thing got installed. It was question 20. I don't know if it did or not. Uh, so it's still installing. Okay, I'm not going to play with that right now. I'm going to go back to the handout and talk to you about the proctored midterm and final. Um, this Starting this semester, every student must make an appointment. So you're going to have to, if you're local and you're going to go to one of the four SPC campuses, you're going to use this link here. Um, if you're out of the area, you need to identify a proctor in your area. Um, I don't use ProctorU. Um, and then last thing I'd like to say is just to print out a copy of this weekly schedule because that will really help you keep on track. Um, it shows you what's due, what the due date is, they're always due at 11 o'clock, remember, uh, where the assignments are, my stat lab or D2L. Um, so I would keep this right by my computer and maybe just check off as I go through. Um, and then also I gave you in the introductory materials a little getting here started checklist and this is also helpful for students to kind of see what I need to do and what kind of order I need to do it in. So hopefully uh, this tool you'll find useful. So I'm here to help you as we go through the course and I hope that um, the D2L experience will be a good one for you. So have a great semester.